If you're tired of waiting for iOS 9 while all of your developer friends are living it up, then why not just install it yourself? I'm Hayato Houston with Pocket Now, and let's take a look at how to install the iOS 9 developer preview without a developer account. The very first step you're going to want to take in starting this whole process is going to imzdl.com, which stands for iMod Zone Downloads. And this is where we're going to get all of the different files that we need to do the side loading, uh, including the iOS 9 beta, uh, as well as registering our UDID. We'll, we'll touch on that in just a second. Um, so first things first, you just want to go to download iOS 9 beta. Just go ahead and click on that. And then you're going to want to find the correct download for your specific device. So if you've got an iPhone 6, you're going to click on here. If you have the uh, iPad mini and so on and so forth. So I have the iPad mini 2, the A1489. And uh, we're going to go ahead and choose one of these options. You can either download the file as a torrent, uh, which is what I'm going to do, or you can get it as a direct download. I'm going to go with the torrent because they're uh, typically faster in my experience. So we're just going to click on that and here it'll just uh, in just a second it's going to auto download there it goes now if you choose to download with a torrent then uh, you are going to have to have a torrenting application like transmission on here uh, I like transmission a lot just because it's got a clean interface and uh, seems to work well for me but you know you can use whatever you want to and it downloads pretty quickly in my experience uh, this one it's a 2.25 gigabyte file and uh, here you can see it went from a couple of weeks to now it just keeps going down and down uh, and we're just going to go ahead and speed past that. Alright, so it took about five minutes but the file is downloaded now so we're just going to go ahead and close out of transmission and uh, the next step here is to just open up that folder and uh, we're going to unzip the file that just says iOS 9 beta and now inside that folder we've got the IPSW file and if you've ever dealt with any kind of iOS updates before uh, with flashing them manually you're probably already familiar with IPSW files this is basically just the firmware itself uh, so the next step would be to open up iTunes but we need to do one quick thing before we do that so go ahead and go back to iMod Zone Downloads you're going to want to click on UDID registration and basically what we're doing here is uh, anytime you're wanting to flash a uh, developer preview onto your iPad or iPhone you need a developer account which costs hundred dollars through Apple uh, and we're trying to avoid paying that much now this does still cost a little bit it's gonna be about eight US dollars uh, but what they're doing here is essentially registering our device onto Apple systems uh, as a developer certified device so here it's gonna ask for the UDID and it says that you can find that by tapping the get my UDID slash IMEI button on the bottom of their uh, main page. So we need to navigate to the website on our iOS device. We're going to go ahead and pick up the iPad mini and do that right now. So again, that's just imzdl.com. And here we are. So go ahead and just click show my UDID right here. And that'll pull up in just a second. Here we go. Now it's going to ask you to install this profile, you're just going to hit install right up there and hit install again once it asks you to verify and a third time install. You definitely want to do that otherwise you're not going to be able to get the information that you need. So once that loads, here we go, we've got our UDID. So if you tapped on register my UDID on the last page, uh, it takes you to the same page we were just looking at on the desktop. And uh, where it gives us a little options right here, we're just going to want to go ahead and just tap UDID registration. Uh, there's no need to go for the certificates unless you really feel that it's necessary. We're also going to go ahead and unche uh, uncheck iMod Care, save ourselves another $2. This is where it's going to ask for your billing info, uh, so you can go ahead and pay that to, uh, $8. And we're going to go ahead and fill that out and be right back. So we went ahead and filled all that info out. Uh, we placed our order and you can see up at the top I've got an uh, email from, from, uh, from IMZDL. We've already got that, that's awesome. Now this is just saying that, uh, again, the uh, device is now UDID registered and so what we can do now is go ahead and open up iTunes on the computer and go ahead and start the next step of the process. So once we're in iTunes, this is the only step that's actually going to differ depending on if you're running on Mac or Windows. Uh, if you're on Mac, what you're going to want to do is click on check for update, but make sure you're holding option while you do it. Uh, the only part where it differs here is on Windows, you're going to hit shift instead. Um, now before you do any of this, you do want to make sure you back up the device because this does have the potential of wiping off all of your files and uh, you definitely want to make sure that that doesn't happen. So uh, go ahead and back up everything first and once you're ready, again, hit control or shift 
uh, depending on your platform. And while you're holding that button, just go ahead and hit check for update. That's going to pull up the uh, manual search for an IPSW file. So you're going to want to go ahead and navigate back to that folder. And uh, once you have found the file, go ahead and just hit open. And it's going to say iTunes will, op will update your iPad to iOS 9 and will verify the update with Apple. Go ahead and hit update. And now because you already registered your device um, with its UDID, it's going to go ahead and verify that it is okay to flash the developer preview. Um, basically, it's just telling it that it is a developer uh, certified device. And here in just a second, the iPad should start to uh, go to an Apple screen. And here we go. We've got the, uh, the hello start screen on here. We're going to go ahead and just uh, swipe over. And you can see update completed. Your iPad was successfully updated. And uh, a couple more steps to follow, then you're done. Create a passcode. I really don't want to, so I'm just going to type 1234 and I'll, I'll disable that later. And finally, welcome to iPad. Get started, and this should be, there we go, everything we already had on here. Uh, now you can see, actually, as soon as I swipe over here, uh, this is the new Siri, or not Siri, the new Spotlight screen. Uh, this is a lot like Google Now. Um, both in, in function and in location, which is kind of nice. Uh, there's a lot to do on here. If we double tap the home button, you can see that we've got the new uh, card style UI, which I'm still not entirely sure how I feel about, but uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff to play with on iOS 9. We're gonna have some fun with that, and uh, now you can too. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a uh, thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. This has been Hayato Q Smith with Pocket Now. And we'll see you next time.